Good afternoon and welcome to me painting a Mandela, hopefully. <laughs> I hope you can see this. Um, I paint really, really tiny, so I thought I'd bring you guys along to show you how I paint. Um, I just, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty blind. I have glasses, obviously, you've seen me before. Um, but, oh, my cat's watching me. I'm sitting outside. <laughs> no, you're not coming out. Um, so, yeah, I paint really, really tiny and, um, without my glasses on. So I'm pretty blind when I do it, but I'll show you guys just how tiny I go. I have a teeny tiny little brush and get the right amount on there. So I'll start off with a circle and then... I've got that center circle already painted. Try and do four even dots first. And then depending on how much room I have in the middle there, I will do one or two. I think this time I'm just gonna do one. And I'm not sure if I'm hitting the phone while I do this. Oh no, I guess I am a little bit, eh? There we go. It's, it's so shaky. I don't mean it for it to be shaky for you guys. Sorry. All right. So there's my first color. And when I pick my colors, I have absolutely no rhyme or reason to picking them. I just pick the colors out of a bag and uh, yeah, let my intuition pick the color, I guess you could say. So, uh, I have no plans when I do these, I just tend to paint by feel. So, whatever I feel like the next dot is going to be, well, that's where it's going to be. Oh, I am quiet while I paint, I guess. Oh no, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. It's more so so I can concentrate and see where the next dot is going, really. As you can see, nothing is really symmetrical. It's not always even. It's not always perfect. And that's okay. It's like happy little dots. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch this back and see if it's too shaky for you guys. If it is, I'll have to figure out another system for videotaping this. As you can hear, my cat is trying to get out. <laughs> okay, here's the next color. Now I do have a paper towel here beside me with a little bit of water. So I can clear off my brushes. I just use, um, you know, cheap acrylic paint from the dollar store. I have accumulated quite a collection over the years. <laughs> um... Yeah, you can use whatever you like. Sorry, I'm just trying to mix up the color here because this one is a sparkly one. And it uh, it's hard to get the color onto the brush sometimes. Alright, let's see where the next line of dots are going to go. I think these ones I can do a little bit bigger. It all depends, you know, while I'm painting, what... I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> what the next dot will look like is never planned. My cat's sneezing. She wants to come out so bad. I don't let her out. My daughter puts her on a leash. Uh, but yeah. I don't. All right, now these ones will dry pretty clear and all you're gonna see is the sparkle to them. So it's all right that I made them a bit bigger. Okay, 
now, put my glasses on for a second. Oops, <laughs> it's out of focus or out of line there for you to see what I was doing. Okay, now, last color I'm going to do is this gold here. I think I'm going to do that as a big dot, and then the next row that I do is going to be a bunch of little dots. You'll see. Watch this. This will be neat. Okay. Now, one thing I do, <laughs> I know it's horrible to do, is see my paintbrush? And, oh, it's hard to see. Hold on. See the tip of my paintbrush? It's a super big point. Oops, got people walking. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> All the kids are coming over today. Oops, hold on. I'm <laughs> Sorry, I had a neighbor talking to me there. All right, let's go here. Nice big dots, I think, here for this one. I feel bad. I think you guys are bouncing too much, eh? for the neighbors. <laughs> uh, she might be back though. She brings me pin codes for contests and uh, she gets different pin codes than the regular public does so because she works at a bar. <laughs> All right what am I doing here? I'm gonna do some small dots I said right? Okay. See that angle. I'm going to do one above it. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. Hi, silly kitty. All right, and then I go in really close and do, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do two on each one. It's kind of hard. All right, there we go. Two connecting them each. Nikki, shh, you're not coming out here. I'm going to have to close that door really soon. What that, that ends up doing is almost like a little star around the dots. <laughs> Nikki. Cat is brewed away. Nikki, 
Oh, that silly kitty. You're not coming out here. My daughter will walk her on a leash, but I don't. And so uh, she sees me outside. She's obviously quite upset that she is not out here. Oh, no, now she's left the screen alone. We're good. All right, those are the final dots there. Wash my brush off for a bit. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to keep it so you can see how things are going along the way. Oops. <laughs> sorry about that. Light might have changed, but uh, this is what my neighbor was bringing over. They have fitness watches, apparently. I only knew that they had a t-shirt one. I didn't know they had fitness watches, so I have to enter those later. I'll uh, let you guys know if I win. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Oh wait, I did this color already. Silly me. I did light blue. Light color. Now it's on to the kind of rosy pink. I don't have my paints in order beside me, so that's why. <laughs> it's real nice. Okay. Let's see, what should I do next? Hmm, that looks like a big one right here. Alright. Have you guys ever just sat quietly and painted on something? As you can tell, I don't have the steadiest hands. I don't. <laughs> it uh, it took me a while to get to this point of obviously being so tiny in painting. I started out with some big ones and then just worked my way down, really. I find I like working with um, the point of the brush versus how much paint, really. I don't know. I like using small brushes versus big brushes. Okay. Now the next color was... Oh yes, the shiny green. It's hard when you're working with something small, so small because you really don't have that much room for a design. Really, I only have a couple of rows to make a design work. Now, I think I want to do one on either side of here. Like I said, there's never any rhyme or reason to what I put down. It's just what I feel like doing at the time and what it looks like it needs. <laughs> it sounds so silly when I say it out loud. Oops, sorry for the shaking again. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to put it where you couldn't see it. Oh. There we go. That focus going for you. Alright, so next color is gold. I think for this one, I am going to go in between every dot. Let's see. Hmm. Well, maybe not. 
No, I think it needs to be a big dot on the top. Told me it needs to go right there. That's gonna go right on top. I went on the wrong top, didn't I? I went on top of the pink. I wanted to go on top of the blue. because I can still go on top. What's this? When I'm done. that one. Oops, sorry. Okay, two more. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is, I think it's the light blue is my next color. To be positive. Clean my brush off. And last but not least, the blue. Oops, see, here I thought I was going to do little dots, and it turned out, oops, my hand wanted to do big dots. I need to be very careful at the end not to touch the sides where the dots are. Mess up my whole pattern. <laughs> Alright, almost done. product. Now I do seal these so they are protected from the elements and can be kept in your pocket. And uh, yeah, I call them peace pebbles or you know they'll take your worries away. Aren't they cute? There we go. And that's the pattern there for you. and painted with a brush. Thanks for watching everybody.